Hey guys, sup, 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 Rui here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council with the new Dark Magician, Pendulum Magician deck profile, or more commonly, as I like to put it, Pendulum Dark Magician, <laughs> the hybrid of hybrids, the king of kings. Let's get into this. So we have three Dark Magician, pretty self-explanatory, it's a Dark Magician based build, you're going to bring, uh, use Ebon to bring these guys out to pretty much end games, but there's also quite a few other uses, and I'm pretty sure most of you are probably thinking Lore of Darkness as that's like the go-to draw power card. It's actually not for magicians. It's actually some better. So three Dragon Pit Magician, pretty self-explanatory as well. You're going to use these guys as your main skills. That's pretty much why. Like, you know, your main high skill. Uh, one Skull Crobat Joker. One Zangi Magician. Three Oaf Dragon. And one Wisdom Eye. Rip that one Wisdom Eye. That poor one Wisdom Eye Magician. He did nothing, Konami. No, I'm kidding. Uh, two Dragon Pulse Magician, pretty much. You're going to play these for lower scales and for Ebon. I've said that multiple times and people still don't listen. And you also use it to go in a Trapeze Magician because it's only a, lo a level 4 out there right now. It's actually really worth running with these guys. I'm running two Time Gazer. You're probably going, what the fuck are you running Time Gazer for? Well, if I don't open with Dragon Pit and I open this guy early game... You pretty much play him right off the bat as your first scale, and you play your lower scale. So it's just another option. Now, the reason I put this not Archfiend Centric, you can play Archfiend Centric, but I chose Time Gazer Magician for quite a few other reasons. The main big reason is that he's going to protect your scale, so when you're set up and you just summon him as a monster, you know, there's plenty of ways of protecting him, like with Absolute Dragon. You know, just long enough to keep your scales there to do what you need to. Uh, one noble noble magician, noble dragon magician. One of these, just one. You only want one. It's not that great, but easy for synchroing. One magic specter, uh, unicorn crin. Pretty much, you bounce stuff to hand. I didn't want to do the sniffles, but I got sinus infection, so please disregard. Three odd eyes pendulum magician. This guy's a fucking beast. <laughs> it's like the backbone of searching in this deck. And then you have the two big birds and a one mechanical hound. Because mechanical hound, when you go handless. Your opponent can't play spells, so that's that's amazing. Honestly, it's amazing. But that's it for the entire monster lineup slash pendulum lineup slash monster lineup. Not too much Dark Magician there, but it's, you know, it uses Dark Magician until uh, we get the support. Two Sky Iris, so good. Three Pendulum Call, pretty self-explanatory. And uh, three Summoner's Art. I have like six targets for Summoner's Art, so it's always usually alive. There's not really a time when it's ever dead. And then this is my new draw power card. The Hell with Wisdom Eye. We got Sacred Seven. Uh, we got Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. I'm playing three because I want to see it. I only really ever want to use two, but I want to see it. So I'm going to run the third copy just to get, you know, get to it faster. Two MST because I don't like discarding unless... I'm recycling stuff back up to hand, and MSG just gets the job done because I'm running Triple Decree. Pretty self-explanatory, no traps. With the Mechanical Hound Lock means I go Ebon and I win game. <laughs> it's it's how it is. One Trapeze Magician, pretty self-explanatory. You still have the means to make it, it's just not going to be as often. One Dire Wolf, pretty much another Rank 4 option. Uh, one castle. Just for the record, it's not the cat. It's not the camera that's moving. It's the table. Just when you guys know this table's a little wobbly. It's a piece of shit, but um, it gets the job done. One cowboy. One oh one. Abyss dweller. Abyss dweller. Because I feel um, not just burning abyss, but mermels are gonna still be prevalent. So I wanted to be at the ready. Just have something. And then I got so emerald because you can bring out dark magician with this from your graveyard. Which is, it's just exceptional. I wish we had a rank 4 that basically allows you to put uh, monsters back into the graveyard. So M7, only level 6. I have rank 6 I'm going to be using is M7. One Big Eye, one Ebon, one Drago Sack, one Red Eyes Flare, one Odd Eyes Absolute. For Odd Eyes Absolute, Vortex Dragon when it dies. And of course, the only Synchro, Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. That's it for the deck profile. Um, if you want regular Magicians, I can do regular Magicians. It's going to be something similar to this. Except without Dark Magicians, let's put it that way. But let me know what you guys think, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and check out the channels in the description. All my other channels, and I'll see you then. Peace.